In this lecture, I'm going to introduce you to something known as dictionaries. And dictionaries are a data structure in Python and a rather important data structure that store data as key value pairs. You are already looking at a dictionary stored in the variable dict. And unlike list and tuples, we declare dictionaries using curly brackets. And you can already see that. Now, unlike the previous data structures, you can also see that every comma is separating not one, but two values. So what is going on? We have a value, colon, another value. The first value is the key, and the second value is Tokyo, uh, is, the, is the actual value or the actual data that we want to enter because dictionaries, they allow us to enter our data or the values and provide labels or keys. So in this case, my key is Japan and the value is Tokyo. My key is China and the value is Beijing. The key is A and the value is 3. We can store more than one data type in a dictionary. Let us run these data and you can see this has been printed out. Let me print out which are the keys because if you remember everything is stored as keys or values. The keys associated with my dict are Japan, China, South Korea, North Korea, A. Now, which are my values? You already know which my value, which are the values, but let's just print those out. So values, round brackets, and the values of the dictionary are Tokyo, Beijing, Seoul, Pyongyang, three. Now, dictionaries are mutable and they're enormously important when we want to store labeled data. And we are going to work a fair bit with dictionaries further on in this course. But in this lecture, we are just going to get a very brief introduction to dictionaries and a general feel of what dictionaries are. So how many key value pairs do I have in my dictionary? I'm going to use the inbuilt Python function called len, and that will tell you, but that tells us the number of items in a container. And in this case, it, it is going to be the number of key value pairs in a dictionary. And it's five. So we don't get an individual number. We just get the number of key value pairs. Japan, Tokyo is one key value pair, China, Beijing, the second one, and so on. We can even make a shallow copy of our dictionary using dot copy and round brackets. So I've created a new variable dict2 is equal to dict, which is the dictionary that I want to copy into dict2 dot copy round brackets. So my original dictionary has been copied into dict2. Now I want to delete a because it doesn't make any sense here. I'm going to use del 
then specify the dictionary from where I want to do the deletion and specify the key that I want to delete. Now when I print out dict 2, both A and 3 has been removed and that is because del removes the given key value pair even though we specify a key. So if you want to remove a data item from your dictionary, just specify the key. Both the key and the value will be removed. Now I want to remove I want to add a new key key value pair to my dictionary and the schema for doing it is we specify the name of the dictionary we want to make the additions to square brackets we specify the key name if it's a string then it's going to be in double quotes if it's a number then we won't use num uh, double quotes and the value So in dict 2 I want to add HK sa as my key and Hong Kong as the value. Let us just see what happens now. There I get Hong Kong sa, well HK sa as my key and Hong Kong as my value. I can even add an integer as my key and a string as my value. I'm going to do that now. In this case, 10 is going to be my key and the value is going to be bullseye. So I've, I've added another key value pair to dict 2 after Hong Kong and that is 10 bullseye. If I want to see which value corresponds to a key, I'm going to well print it out, call the dictionary dict2 and specify the key whose corresponding value I want printed out. So let's just do that. And it tells me the value corresponding to key or to 10 is bullseye. Let us see. Corresponding to China. The value corresponding to the key China, the key China is Beijing. I want to see if a given key is present in my dictionary or not. So I'm going to actually make use of in, which is a defined word in Python. Now, if you look at dict, that's the original dictionary, that does have A. So when I specify if A is present in the string or the character A is present in dict, it tells me true because A is present in dict. Now, if I want to see B, there's no B over there, then it returns a false. I can even say if something is not in a given dictionary then I use this not in and this will return true because B is not in dict and so on. I can even sort out the strings of my dictionary the key strings using sorted using the inbuilt Python function sorted 
and th then we get China, Japan, North Korea. The strings have been sorted alphabetically. And these are just some of the basic things we can do with dictionaries. And in the subsequent lectures, we are going to use more of dictionaries. And that is when you are going to realize all the things that dictionaries can do for us. In the meanwhile, I'm going to move on to the next lecture and introduce you to functions.